Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm EpicGeek with 787, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the mechanics surrounding beehives and bees' nests in Minecraft. If you want to keep up to date on all the gaming, commentary, and help videos, then make sure to start right now by subscribing. First of all, I'd like to mention that both the beehive and the bees' nest are farmable. Also, the beehive is less likely to be destroyed by TNT than the bees' nest. When it comes to breaking, the bees' nest seems to be destroyed quite a bit faster than the beehive. Another quite interesting thing is that bees do actually store the X, Y, and Z coordinates of flowers so that other bees from the same nest can find them. Now, once a pollinated bee is finished working in the beehive or bee nest, it increases the pollen count by one. And when the pollen count reaches level five, that's when you can create either a honey bottle or a honeycomb. When it comes to harvesting the beehive and bees nest, you preferably are going to use your fists to harvest the beehive and a silk touch pickaxe to harvest the bees nest. Now just a warning, if you do harvest the beehive or the bees nest, uh, you are going to be attacked by bees. They will sting you, you will get poisoned and then they'll die shortly afterwards. Now if you want to harvest them without being attacked, or with the bees actually in the hive so you don't have to lead them to your base and you can just place it down and immediately start building some sort of bee farm then you simply just have to place a campfire underneath the beehive this will cause all the bees to go inside of the nest or hive and be harvestable without attacking you or jumping out of the hive immediately yeah so don't try and mine it with just a silk touch pickaxe as they will try to murder you now the crafting recipe for the beehive is as follows, a layer of honey cones on the middle layer, surrounded by two layers of oak planks. When it comes to actually harvesting from the beehives, you can use shears to collect a honeycomb, or you can use a bottle to collect a honey bottle. Just a warning, you don't want to do this manually as the bees will immediately try and kill you. Redstone wise, you want to place an observer facing towards the nest or hive, a dispenser also facing towards it, with whatever it is used to harvest that material, and a line of redstone connecting that. Now, if we do give that a redstone signal, as you can see, it harvested some honey. If you want to breed the bees, you can just feed them some flowers, and they should create a new bee. Having flowers in your hand means that bees will head towards you and follow you around, so long as you still have the flowers in your hand. I forgot to mention this, but bees' nests do actually spawn in the wild, but they have a very low percent chance of actually doing so, as there are quite a few variables, including types of tree and flower location that are included in that. Thanks for watching today's video, I know it's a little bit of a low effort one, but I'm getting my PC set up so I can hopefully start recording on that soon. Uh, and also, I'm going to shout out to my friends, Ortex and Isaac Will. They both started uploading some pretty cool PC videos that I think you guys should check out. So if you want to check them out, I'll leave the links in the description down below. Here's a bit of a bonus clip uh, where I screwed up massively in recording this video. 